Hello, how's it going again, guys? Here we are with part two of Hackers in Cold War. And we, last episode, well, not even episode, part, was of Cotton Lynn and his mean aimbot. This time, this is actually in the same game. His buddy, Lazeus, was obviously using the same mod menu or whatever he was using. And this one is a little less obvious, but once again, we check the account stats. Level 1000 with two days played. Like, it's just not possible, so let's get into the gameplay. Seize the objectives. Okay, so instantly, his hip fire accuracy is just spot on. I've never seen anyone do that with the Groza. It's see, it's stuff like this. He's just holding left click, but it's locking on and tracing enemies. Cause. I don't remember this gameplay as much as I do the other one, but in my opinion, that is the main giveaway for me. His hip fire accuracy was on point and his tracing was just perfect. But same with his friend, it's it's just embarrassing. You're cheating at the game and you still can't you can't perform as good as some people that aren't even... That are just playing the game normally. Like, I don't see how it's so hard. I, I've been playing Call of Duty since Modern Warfare 2 on the PS3. And honestly, I've played almost every day. For... Out of all the Call of Duties, I've played every day for the lifespan of... About half of Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops, Ghosts, Black Ops 2. Like, y'all get the point. I've played way too much Call of Duty. But, for someone like this, like, just take the time and actually get good at the game. Instead of exploiting it and buying cheats. Like, I don't see how Treyarch can't just go and sue these companies that are selling hacks for the game. Because it is technically... It, it No, it does break the terms of service. So they should be able to sue them or something to get them shut down. And based off the time played of both accounts, Lazeus is actually the more experienced hacker, I'm gonna say. Because on his account, he had, I believe, two or three days played. Well, once again, he's still level 1000 with two or three days. Like, that's not possible at all. And it's, it's just sad. How can people that hack so obviously stay on the game for so long like he has three days th two or three days played on this very account like it's, see it's stuff like that like Thank you. 
Like, honestly, these kids should both be just embarrassed. Like, right there, he... There was complete smoke up, but the second he aimed in, he aimed directly to where my teammate was standing. Like, instant lock on. If that isn't a dead giveaway, I don't know what is. Like that. Just look at his movement. How how is it that during the regular game when he's not in gunfights and just running around, his turning is so slow. But the second he sees someone, it's like his DPI is on 20,000 and he just cranks it in instant 100% accuracy. It just doesn't make sense. <sighs> Seize the objectives. They have a harp up at this point, so some of the stuff I do understand. Like a lot of this could be legit. Like with a harp, it's it's hard to choose, but it's really on the aim. Like if he just flicks. But literally all I had to see for this kid, three days level a thousand, that, that, that's a sack of shit. I have maybe five, almost six days played in this game, and I'm only level 600. So, it, it just doesn't make sense. I've doubled his time played, but he's level a thousand. It's, it's a joke, honestly. It just amazes me how long these kids can just sit here on these accounts and continue to cheat constantly, get called out for it, get reported, and nothing. It's, it's dumb. Like, right there, that was me who died. I was trying to kill myself to change class. Like... Just the precise accuracy, that's it. Like, it's not even like they're just wall hacking. They're wall hacking, aim botting. I wouldn't be surprised if they're, that, like, they have, like, an automated almost. So, you're running around and it just automatically locks onto someone. I wouldn't be surprised. Because I know, not, like, if I get smacked up in, in, in a game, I know the difference between someone who is just better than me and good, and someone who's just complete cheating. Because with all the changes they're making in the game, matchmaking's getting shifted around. So most games, I am doing really well. But... If someone's smacking this badly, it, it, it's just sus. So I go back and watch the footage. And if I see something like this, it's obviously I'm going to report them. I'm not going to shit talk in the lobby unless it's obvious. But that's one main thing that I see with the community as of right now. You, you need to realize when someone's cheating and they're just better than you. Losing alpha. But yeah, anyway guys, as we're reaching the end of this gameplay, um, if you can, stay clear of Lazeus and his friend Cotton Lynn. I believe they're both PC level 1000, and if you do, just 
Let's report them. And I recommend don't play in the lobby. It's not fun. Just... I'd like to see Treyarch clean up the community a little. Keep kids like this out of games. Make the game fun again. Don't make it just a hacker spree. Like World at War or something. Anyway, we're reaching the end of the gameplay. Uh, yeah, it should be ending. But, like, look at that. Look at how fast his aim was to lock onto that kid. And that is the gameplay of Mr. Hacker Man. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If I run into any more hackers, you already know I'm going to be posting them here. If you guys enjoy watching a hacker's perspective, leave a like, comment, and subscribe even. It means a lot to me, every single one of you. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Adios.